Oh, what's up guys, Choco back here. We're gonna show you uh, some Psycho gameplay. This is so fun and totally different than anything I played with the uh, Minion Mancer. Um, basically, you're just a god. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you that. So my build is not even um, what's it called? Like finished because it's still really weak. But um, you can see these enemies are, uh, we're doing it on extreme, so they're three levels higher. And look at that. You just hit the delete button on them. Uh, it's really cool. It's really fun. Um, it's, yeah, I just, it really gives me hope because I'm hoping that the, oh, that was bad. Wait, wait, this is like this. Wait, what is that enemy? Okay, sorry about that. I have no... Oh, it's a turret. God, it's so weird. Okay. I was like, what? What is going on? Um, anyways, yeah. The gameplay is super different, and it's just so much more fun. Did I almost walk off the... Okay. Um, it feels way more fun. I think this is just a better way to play the game. The Mini Master ended up feeling like... Um, I was never the one like doing the big stuff. Like I, w I didn't feel like I was mastering the minions. I just felt like I was there, and the minions were there too. Um, whereas this feels like I am just going in and blasting people because it's all me. Um, and so, what the build is is you can see right down here we have a heat meter. So as you are casting your skills, you're going to build up more chaos. Um, I'm going to show you that here. So right now you can see my heat gauge building up. Here we have another big skill. Boom, like that. Um, and as we use our skill, the heat gauge goes up. And once you get to big boy heat, see if we can get there. There we go. Now we're here. So Christ had to pay for power. Now crazy stuff's gonna start happening. So that thing damages you and will straight up kill you. Um, <clears throat> There's going to be enemies that are going to be spawned in because essentially you are uh, taking control of the warp. Uh, that's what psychers do in the um, Warhammer universe. And the warp is obviously where all the bad guys, the uh, Xenos, etc., come from these chaos monstrosities. And uh, guys, wow, yeah, it's just really, really fun to play as this class. I don't know how the other classes feel, but I feel like this is way better than uh, the Minion Mancer that I was playing, and I feel like I can do way more stuff. And let me show you, um, oh, wow, this is a bit spicy here. Um, let's see if we can get out of this quickly-ish. There we go, we just picked up the orbs. Um, and then you get buffs like this, so this is just, look at that, 50% damage bonus, uh, which is crazy. I'm just gonna pick up a chest. <clears throat> um, I'm going to show you when we get out. So as you, if you've been watching the other videos or not, um, the minions, you have like some customization options. So you can kind of choose what kind of minions you want. Uh, oops. Okay, I've never tried that before. I decided to try that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, anyways, you can choose what kind of minions you want. You can choose um, like what their abilities are. Uh, and that kind of thing. Of my sins. Yeah, so you can see, we just start doing crazy stuff once we get the, uh, the warp stacked. It's a long cutscene. Jeez. I found him, Captain. Switching. Language module. Oh. Thank the Emperor. Um, anyways, so yeah, you can see we're still getting uh, these anomalies. Look at this. It's actually crazy. It slows you, and then, yeah, it's it's really bad. Uh, that's why I normally was taking teleport, but... For the oh, deflector shield. Okay. Um, yeah, I was taking teleport before because it was just way easier to dodge all the uh, the stuff, but um, we'll go ahead and show you some, some more shenanigans here. Look at that, like we just, I'm talking to Lishan, guys. Uh, this is three levels higher than me, by the way. Oh, actually, it might be more than three levels higher. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, feels really good. Really fun. Um, 
you know, you have like these other skills you can use to balance your, uh, sorry, your, um, <clears throat> you see if I cast my number one skill. Ooh. 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 Come on, we're getting blasted. Ooh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die right now. We're gonna die. Oh, that was my bed. Now that was my bed. I need to get my shield. I gotta stop doing that. Oh, okay, okay. We might, we might make it out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was definitely my bad. Uh, that was not the character. That was just straight up me. Um, I just walked into the uh, stupid turret thing again, which I gotta stop doing. Um, Jeez, man. God. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, it spoke too soon. Get over here. Come on, buddy. And there you go. You can see this will reduce our meter. Um, can you? Should be mission complete here. Yep, there we go. All right, so now we've unlocked crafting, which is going to make all this armor even cooler. But look at that. We pick that up. It goes into green heat. And uh, now we go down. So this is just a buff that we can get. But I, I'm really wanting to show you guys the powers because I think that's the coolest part of uh, this character. And I really like how they've done it. Um, I don't know if every class has this. Maybe I won't think it's as cool on the next class. Uh, who knows? Oh, there we go. Venom Toxin Mastery. Cheating death. Okay. Officium Assassinatorium. Oh, okay. Uh, but check this out. So this screen used to be the screen, and, and this is the other cool thing. So you can do a dual wield system. So every time you see the, ye the yellow, that means you have one slot. So this setup would have uh, the first and third slot would be skills, and then this would be one skill, so we would have one open slot. Um, and then when we switch to our staff, you can see the staff has three open slots. Right, so we get three open slots plus our number four because we're wearing the belt. Uh, I think it's because we're wearing the belt, but yeah, it's so cool. It's so 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 cool. Um, each different uh, psychic power. So like, let's click in my lightning here. Right, you have all of these options for what you can do to it that make this your own power. So I made him stronger. I get shield, and then I deal more uh, suppression damage against their shields. Um, but you could do like slow, vulnerable, blind, whatever, right? You could do all those things. Um, here's the fiery form that I'm using. So it gives you damage buff, uh, heat damage bonus, and resistance. Uh, and it's just a passive and it gives you move speed. That's more important. Um, and pretty much why I've taken it. But you could take, like, for example, you can take uh, regen, you can take all kinds of stuff. Um, and each power has like different ones that it can take. So, like, look at this one. This one has. Uh, half to warp damage, less warp cost, more. But you could also make it do shield. You can make it do HP. You know, wh whatever you, um, whatever you want to do, really. So I think that's really cool. And also, like, we can do something like this. Okay, so this guy's like AOE. We could also do like another attack, uh, like this one. This one can only be used when the target has no suppression. Um, which means you have to eliminate the second bar, like the shield bar that they have, and then this just does insanity damage. Uh, you can see this This was already pumping, but this does... Uh, sorry, where is it at? This was already pumping, but then when you look at like how much this is doing, look at that. It's insanity, right? Um, so yeah, super cool. Really like this character. Uh, I think it's really fun, and definitely recommend if you're looking into playing this game. This character really gives you... Uh, the ARPG feel. I feel like I wasn't having that before, but um, you know, now that I'm playing this character, I definitely have it. And then, you know, we're going through the AoE tree here, which is just more damage, bonus, more damage, bonus. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and, and just keep going down this tree. We're going to get all the AoE skills eventually, and then we're probably going to go radical, because look at that, 40% warp damage bonus. Um, so that's, yeah, that's crazy. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick one and kind of show you what the class like looks uh, looks like later on, and then also like yeah, the warp bound armor gives you. What, what I'm finding out is that when you're selecting your class in the beginning, it just gives you that armor piece. So actually, every class can be any class. 
So this warp bound armor is not from the class that I chose, but you can still wear it, and it will give you um, the special things uh, set up. And like, look at this. This this gives you a. Uh, if we use this instead, then we get smite, right? If we use um, this one, right? The word vein gives you the homing ones, but there's also like, we can go in Captain. here. The tech priest is being treated for injury. What of the rim? Their leader. I must commend. Look. All right. Uh, let's see if we can show you here. Uh, so, for example, the focus, right? So I could just get another power instead of having a force field. Um, I can get grenades. I can get. Let's see if we can show you. Um, like this one was really crazy, but I thought it was too OP, so I stopped using it. You can actually just stop time, and they just still take like tick damage from all your skills. That was crazy. Um, Here's another one. So the warp bound armor just lets you do um, these. This one would let you do a teleport. So you get teleport uh, inside your armor instead of your having to use teleport on your, your skill, which is also super cool because like if you're doing a melee build, now you can just teleport and jump in. Um, this is the personal teleporter, which I was using before because it's also really good. Like you just zoom, zoom through. Um, but yeah, guys, anyways, really cool. Lots of customization here. Um, yeah, and I mean, there's a ton of more, like, perks and stuff like that to unlock. I just pick ones that give me beneficial, and there's warp, but, like, there's, uh, god, there's so many choices here, right? Um, in the end, it's not really gonna matter. Like, let's be clear. This stuff pretty much doesn't matter at all. Um, because there's no, like, real extreme hard end game, except for making everything, like, super high-leveled. But, it feels still fun to play. Like, I have fun running in there and just blasting stuff and then um you know like testing out the powers like okay what if i just don't use this because maybe uh that's 20 percent damage bonus what if i just don't need that and i change that for uh this instead so then i just use this first and then i blast them with this and this does like you know 12k damage or something crazy like all of those things are possible and then there's also like some powers i haven't even looked at yet like i was thinking about using the beam i think the beam looks crazy like it might be really strong um you know, like, there's just so much cool stuff that I haven't tried that I'm looking forward to trying. Um, and I think this just kind of made the game super more fun for me, you know, knowing that there's another campaign. Even though, like, the things are kind of following the same general idea. Like, you're obviously, the game is called Martyr, so you're going to end up following the Martyr's Path or whatever. But you have, like, your own little bit of unique stuff going on in there in the middle. Um, and then, yeah, you can also do all these extra tasks or whatever, but... I've just been doing some extra missions, leveling up, and then doing the story stuff just to, like, it's just, I'm, I'm just having fun. Uh, honestly, I think the game is better than I originally thought um, if you just change classes whenever you get bored. Like, if you get bored of a class, just change to a new one, and then just start blasting and learning the new powers and blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it makes it, it actually makes it fun for me. Um, so, yeah, guys, anyways, this game is great. Um in terms of like what it gives you for choices on on the characters like this character feels totally different from my other character i don't know if that holds up for all the classes or if i just happen to pick the two most um different classes you know what i mean uh so i'll i'll definitely up, update you guys with that uh later but other than that man if you think this game looks fun you will probably have fun with the game um i'm having way more fun playing this class I'm going to play the assassin, right? I want to check out the sniper stuff. Um, I'm going to play the, the the battle sister to see, like, how the angel form stuff looks. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff I just want to try out and check out. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, definitely recommend this one if you're hunting for just a kind of cheap, fun, you know, kind of mindless time-wasting style game. This one is this one is pretty good. Um, I definitely recommend it. Uh for the price point and the fact that it has offline mode which is why i'm playing it so yeah that's about it for this one and i will catch you guys in the next one choco out